Let's go over an easy way to conduct Ahrefs niche research. And what I mean by that is using the Ahrefs tool to analyze what's going on in a specific niche, right? So if you're, let's say you're a plumber in Phoenix, Arizona, first thing you'd want to do is type in, go to Google, type in Phoenix plumbers or whatever it is that you're trying to rank for. You know, maybe you have a blog about the keto diet or whatever it is. Type it into Google, do a search, and skip past these sponsored results, the sponsored results here, which are just the ads, and come down to the actual organic listings. And you can just start finding the top um, companies. I would skip Yelp and Angie and some of these other ones, Home Advisor. Those are like directory listings, right? We don't really care about those in this case. It's, at least in the local oriented search results, there's often going to be these directories that show up at the top as well but we can just take the url of each of these put them into the search bar on ahrefs which if you don't already have an account with ahrefs it is a paid tool so you'll need to sign up for an account and in order to use it but once you're logged in you can just paste the url of your top competitor in here click this little search button and that's going to give an overview of what's going on with their website there's a bunch of different factors here that we're seeing, but the main thing you really want to look at is usually this uh, this top section up here, which is going to give you a breakdown of what all is going on with their website. So their backlink por uh, profile looks pretty strong, and we can compare this to some of the other top competitors. So the next one is going to be Diamondback Plumbing, and then there's also Deer Valley Plumbing. Those are the top actual company websites. Diamondback you can see they have a lower DR and I believe a lower URL rating or UR, which is basically just a, a math equation that Ahrefs does to figure out based on all the backlinks and everything, how authoritative is their domain and the actual URL, meaning their homepage. And you can see this is 42 versus and 42 and 26. This one's 30 and 22. And then Deer Valley is 26 and 38. So the more backlinks they have and the more authoritative those backlinks are, the better this rating is going to be and the higher they're likely to rank in the search results, right? And we can start digging into these and check out like where they're getting all their backlinks from. We can even take a look at the keywords that people are, or that their site is ranking for. So anything in blue is clickable. I just opened that in a new link, but essentially these are the terms that they're ranking for. We can see the position that they're ranking in, the amount of estimated traffic they're getting from those pages, the monthly search volume, the keyword difficulty, the cost per click, the pages that are actually ranking, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So we can even see a breakdown of how it's, um, how things have changed over time, etc. And you can start exporting some of this data. So we could export this whole thing as a CSV and analyze the keywords that they're ranking for currently. Do the same thing for Diamondback and for Deer Valley and start to see where they have overlapping keywords that they are ranking for and start to drill down on the keywords that we actually want to pour some power into and try to get ranked at the top of Google for those specific keywords. And same thing goes with their backlinks. You can open up all the backlinks that they have and start looking through those figure out arizonasports.com that looks like a pretty good one let's see you know maybe we should see if we can get listed on that website somehow it's not directly related but it is like a local something or other website <laughs> uh, but you get the idea you can start figuring out what they're doing to have success in this niche already and then that's going to be your plan for success in a given niche and it's going to vary from niche to niche, depending on whether you're a local company or a national brand or a blog or an e-commerce website. But the principles are the same. You just go to Google. Google's going to be the indicator of which company is the best, right? Figure out who's ranked at the top organically. Put those into Ahrefs start analyzing what they have going on from the organic side. You can even look at the paid um, paid search traffic that they're getting as well. So we can see what keywords they're advertising on 
and the ads that they're running, which can be found over here, and start to figure out what it's going to take to be effective in marketing in a given niche. There's a ton of different information that you'll be able to find in here, like how things have changed over time, the different keywords that they've um, started to rank for over time, but I won't really go into too much detail about the rest of this. The main thing is really just understanding how to analyze a niche and use the Ahrefs tool to your advantage to see what they have going on, see how competitive a niche is, and decide if it's something that you want to tackle in the first place. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of Ahrefs niche research or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? So that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade and one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> the best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.